Motorcycles, otherwise known as taxi motors, are a means of transport widely used by many and sustaining countless people in Rwanda. Statistics show that in Kigali city alone, there are 26,000 motorcyclists. Just like it is with public transport buses and taxi cabs, meters have been installed in taxi motors to facilitate electronic transactions. It is a phone installed with a taxi meters app that is fixed on a motorcycle and begins to count at the start of the trip where the passenger pays based on the distance covered. We found Neo Vikora Shafi in Nyabugogo about to start his trip to Chimsagara. He is expected to use a taxi meter. He, however, says it's the motorist that benefits in this because they can't be cheated. Before when I was coming from Nyabugogo going to Ona Trakom, I used to pay 400 Rwandan francs, but now with a meter, I am paying 700. So as passengers, it is expensive for us. Among other targets, the use of the taxi meter technology came to facilitate the growth of contactless transactions between a passenger and the taxi motor operator. Motorists who use it explain that apart from the first two kilometers that cost a standard fee of 300 Rwanda francs, they usually don't incur losses because the money they are paid is obvious. Before, we would negotiate, but the meter now detects the distance covered. So the good thing is that I don't incur any losses. But before, when we would negotiate, the passenger would sometimes give me less money, which is not the case now. On the road, some taxi motor operators that have the meters use them, while there are those that have the meters but don't use them. There's also a big number of motorists who are yet to install taxi meters on their taxi motors. This doesn't take away the fact that some passengers go ahead and agree with the motorcyclists about the prices to various destinations without using the meters, something that hampered compliance with the set regulations. We negotiated and they are taking us at a subsidized price. They have charged us 700, but that's not what we would ideally pay. Usually it's about 800 to 1,000. They just helped us. It really helps because it changes according to the distance. But passengers don't like it because they say it is expensive for them. For instance, if you take a passenger and they are charged 1,100 francs, they refuse to pay it and give you 700 instead. Daniel Ngarambe, the chairperson of the Rwanda Federation of Commercial Motorcyclists, emphasizes that although not all motorcyclists have embraced the use of taxi meters, this technology helps motorcyclists to record their regular transactions, which could help them acquire loans from financial institutions to help them further their economic activities. The other thing is that they will develop at a faster rate because when they would go to the bank and couldn't get mortgages because their work doesn't offer them bank statements. But this meter will help them with such because when one has an old motorcycle, they can buy a new one for them. Or if they require a loan, they can access it. We have many plans through this meter technology, such as the Ejo Heza will be done through this, which is all aimed at developing the motorcyclists. The Rwanda Utilities and Regulatory Authority emphasizes that the use of electronic payments is the goal, but with the aim of avoiding contact transaction, even though it has not yet been achieved. <laughs> We remind passengers and motorcyclists to embrace using this technology as this is a great step. Passengers should ask the motorcyclists to use this meter always and not heed to paying direct cash. And for motorcyclists who have issues with their meters, they should report for them to be rectified. And for those that haven't received the meter yet, let them operate but ask to be paid through mobile money and avoid hand-to-hand -hand transactions.
Of the 26,000 taxi motors currently operating in Kigali, about 19,000 have the taxi meters for electronic transactions. The Rwanda Utilities and Regulatory Authority explains that even the remaining ones will get them in the near future, and it will be extended to taxi motorists working in other provinces.